practice activities and resources. In addition to the four major skill areas assessed on TOEFL test, reading, listening, speaking, and writing, there are several supplementary skills that will help you succeed on the test as well as in your academic studies. These skills, note-taking, paraphrasing, and summarizing are not directly tested on the TOEFL test, but mastering them will help you improve your score. Strategies for developing these skills are presented below. On the next slide, we will detail what each supplementary skill is about. We want you to take a few minutes to read and take notes if you feel you need to do so. Now we will take you through the speaking practice activities. We want to remind you that these speaking practice activities are just a few of them. Of course, you may find many more, but we believe these ones will help you succeed on your test. Speaking practice activities, pronunciation, cohesion, fluency, pronunciation. English has certain pronunciation features that you need to become aware of and imitate in order to produce a speech that sounds like that of a native speaker. The closer you are to achieving this goal, the higher your score will be on the speaking section of the TOEFL test. Speech features that you need to be familiar with are described below. Individual sounds and group of sounds. Your listeners will understand your responses better if you pronounce individual sounds and group of sounds correctly. These sounds are vowels, combinations of vowels, consonants, and consonant clusters. Since letters in English do not always represent the same spoken sound, it is useful to learn a phonetic alphabet. The International Phonetic Alphabet, IPA, is the most common one. Stress patterns. Even if you put all the correct sounds together, you may not be understood unless you use the correct stress patterns. The stress refers to the emphasis you place on certain words in a sentence or on a syllable within a word. A stressed word or syllable is louder, longer and higher pitch than unstressed words or syllables. Using the wrong stress pattern can cause misunderstanding. Remember, the stress pattern of a sentence indicates the main focus of the sentence. Stressing the wrong word in a sentence may cause confusion about the meaning you want to express. Rhythm patterns. Rhythm refers to the timing pattern of a language. Rhythm patterns in English are based on stress. Intonation patterns. Intonation patterns involve change in pitch. Remember the intonation patterns can signal the speaker's attitude. They can also signal the speaker's emotions. The speakers show their certainty, enthusiasm, anger, excitement through subtle shifts in intonation. Cohesion. Cohesion refers to how well the ideas in your spoken response fit together. You will sound more fluent and get a higher score on the speaking task if your responses are cohesive. You can achieve cohesion by using the techniques described in this section. Organizing ideas, using transitional expressions, defining unknown terms, using parallel structures, rephrasing or replacing keywords, using consistent tense, person, and number. Fluency refers to speaking with accuracy and natural speed. There are several language features to concentrate on for building language fluency. For example, grammatical correctness, correct use of vocabulary, use of variety of vocabulary, among others. Analyzing your responses will help you grade your own response. Keep the following list of questions in mind as you analyze your responses to any speaking task. Is the pronunciation in the speech easy to understand? Does the intonation in the speech sound natural? Does the speech show control of a variety of grammatical structures? Has the word choice been effective? Is the speech coherent? Are the ideas from the listening passage well organized? Have the main ideas been presented? Have the appropriate supporting details been used? Does the respond paraphrase the ideas and details accurately? Has the speech been completed within the allotted time? Does the speech show control of a variety of grammatical structures? Do the details and examples support the chosen topic?
It is a good idea to have these resources available for you. An English teacher, a native English speaker, a friend with good English speaking skills. All of these resources will help improve your speaking skills.